Hello everyone, Ktiva Bechatima Tova, Davening on Tom Gedalia, dedicated to the memory of Lucy Maya and Rina D. When you daven on Tom Gedalia, you see a conglomeration of two things. Number one, confession and tshuva and everything else that should be occupying us at this time of the year. And on the other hand, themes that have to do with Tom Gedalia. And from this perspective, you can very easily say, listen, it happens to be that some Gedalia comes out on this day. It was the day he was killed. And instead of having two separate slichot, one for, let's say, the Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur time and one for a fast day, we decided, for convenience sake, to put them together. I don't think that the composers of slichot did that just for convenience. I believe there was a subtle message there. And allow me to introduce it with the following theme, not from a book, not from a Jewish source, but from CNN. In an article from 2018, CNN had a wonderful article in which they did investigative research and basically came to the conclusion that we have so many buttons that mean nothing. It just gives you the illusion that you're in control. For example, there's a button in the elevator that says closed door. You can press it and press it and press it. The delay function that was built into that elevator will override that button. The button means nothing. So why is it there? To give you the illusion that you're in control. I believe this is the message of Tzom Gedalia. Namely, we have so many buttons that could have touched us in Rosh Hashanah. Buttons of how the world can be full of godliness. How the world can be a wonderful place. How the world will be void of murder like was done on Tzom Gedalia. But unfortunately, way back when, there was a Jew that went through the entire Rosh Hashanah experience and it meant nothing. It's like the button closed door in the elevator. He went through Rosh Hashanah and a day later had no problem to basically kill a fellow Jew. That's exactly why the composers of Slichot said, let's put them together. The themes of confession and of tshuva and everything else that should occupy us. And the unfortunate and very dangerous, dangerous fear that on, we can, God forbid, go through these days and it will be like those buttons, meaning nothing. I hope and pray that every single person that went through Rosh Hashanah has buttons that mean a lot. And God willing, when we press them, We will first and foremost never even think that murder is on the agenda, but above and beyond it, we allow that davening to influence us. So all the themes we daven for could be practiced in these very days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Wishing everyone a tzom mo'il and a wonderful day.